So, your diet's not weird enough. You're already vegan, but you're not restricting enough food groups. There's too much variety in your life. Well, damn if I don't got the solution for you. So I believe a raw food diet is the top of the mountain. If you're sick, you want to get well, you go on a raw food diet, your disease melts away into the sewer where you left your pet gerbil 30 years ago. He survived, you know. His name's Larry, and he runs a network of chipmunk accountants. He's doing well for himself. Even if you live in Canada in the summer months, raw food can be quite enjoyable. You get some nice melons. <laughs> we get some good cherries. They cost like $49 a pound, but that's fine. That's fine. It can be done. I did a watermelon juice fast in the winter once, and then I got a power outage. That was the worst week of my life. It was so cold, but I did it. But I'm moving to Thailand September 21st. That's like three weeks away, and I know what awaits me there. Raw food heaven. So I figure why bother torturing myself trying to find ripe fruit here that's subpar at best. I'm just like, whatever, let loose. I'm on the I'm not in Thailand yet diet and I'm enjoying it. So I spent a good while eating like two potato meals a day, but they make me break out so bad. I'm finally done my potatoes. We got no more potatoes. I even bought 20 extra pounds to really test it. And I just keep breaking out. So I'm like, all right, you're out of my life, potatoes forever. So now I'm on the beans and greens diet because I don't fart enough. I just, I need more of that. If you hold a fart, you start floating. So I'm gonna show you what I eat today on the beans and greens diet. And let's do that now. You know I'm starting off with that celery juice, rebuild the stomach acid. It's a miracle, it's a miracle, it works. If you have any digestive issues, I used to get the heartburn and sour stomach from eating potatoes, no longer since having this. So get on that celery juice to fix your digestion. After the celery juice, I hit the watermelon. Seeded watermelon, that's gonna be my first, it's my only fruit left. And then I'm going no fruit for a little bit unless my body cries, which it probably will, but I'm beans and greens all the way. I switched to the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I just wanted to see it, but I already know in my heart. This thing sounds so echoey when I film like this, vlog distance. So I just wanted to mention quickly about the watermelon. I've been eating watermelon where I cut the watermelon in half and then scoop it out with a spoon. Just eat it like its own bowl. And I gotta tell you, ever since I started switching over to this method, my mind is blown. My mouth feels like I had sex with a walrus. That doesn't even sound like a good thing. Now what I do, I just cut it. You gotta get it thick enough to where you like it, but you just slice these big round slices. And then what I do is just cut them in fours. Cut them once that way and once the opposite way. You make a cross that even Jesus would be proud of you for. You got the cross in your life now. And the top ones I usually slice a little bit more because they're awkward. But you don't have to. You don't have to. And now you got these little triangles did she just eat? This is diatomaceous earth, by the way. I bought it months ago, and I've been afraid to take it because the medical medium guy, he was like, don't do it. And I've always been kind of afraid. It kills parasites and stuff, but it's like glass shards. And it just seems like the stupidest thing to take, but I might brush my teeth with it. Do something, so I don't know. There's that. I do have one yam left, so I baked it, and I will eat that. But after that, no more, because it's not a bean or a green. And in this pot here, 
I soaked two cups of chickpeas overnight and that's what's in there. It's somewhere near like 1500 calories of chickpeas. So I'm gonna be eating a lot of chickpeas and I imagine down in the stomach area, we're gonna have wind of the gods of Zeus. This may be a short-lived experiment depending on what happens down here, but I'm gonna enjoy the process and if you want to know how I'm going to do it, I'm going to wake up and cook the beans for two and a half hours. When they're done, I soak another two cups or three cups. Maybe I'll do it in a bigger batch, like 10 cups. I don't know. And then I'll have leftovers. Here's how I'm going to do this. The first bean and green meal, I'll eat some lettuce first, and then I'm going to have beans and a little bit of pasta sauce that I have left over. The next bean and green meal will have broccoli with avocado and the chickpeas and possibly a little Himalayan salt sprinkled upon it. I also got lupini beans. These are lupini beans. They're lupini. They're the highest protein bean right next to soy. It's like the soy alternative for the gains. So that's going to be my diet for the next couple weeks till I get to Thailand unless the gas becomes unbearable and I can't handle it then I go back to some fruits. So I think we're done here for today. I'm going to go drink my celery juice and get started on all that food I talked about. We've been using the Sennheiser ME2 mic. Let me know if you found that enjoyable. I'm probably going to send it back because the connector is messed up but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we're officially done now. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if Bigfoot stole your hat and you know where he keeps it, but you're afraid to confront him because he's big. He's bigger than you. Don't let that deter you just because somebody's bigger than you, the challenge seems too hard to conquer. Don't let that stop you. You're a human being. You got the potential of the universe within your heart. So let that be with you this day. And we're done. Thank you for watching. Get yourself a vegetable police t-shirt. Patreon monthly Q&A has been uploaded. Hope you enjoyed that. Go sign up if you want to see it. Funny video, I think. And we're done. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.